Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to back up your website. So mainly this is for WordPress, but I suppose it could work on other um, website platforms too. Um, and the program that I'll be using is called FileZilla. So what you'll need to do is firstly just to go ahead and download the program called FileZilla. So it's a free program. Okay, so it's, it's a free FTP solution. Okay, so as you can see, this is it on Google. So go ahead and download it, whether you've got a Windows computer or if it's for any other platform. Okay, so once you've got FileZilla downloaded onto your desktop, what you'll do is open it up. Okay, so I've got mine right here. So what I'll do is, okay, so this is what it will look like, FileZilla. So you will see that these, um, all these so it's, it's it's blank at the moment you have to log in so up on the top here you'll see host username password and port so you need to go ahead and grab this information and where you can get this would be under um, your host your hosting service so mine is under GoDaddy so I'll just go ahead and show you where that information is so if you've got a um, hosting account with GoDaddy you can go ahead and click on settings and under settings, this should bring up a few options here for you. So I'll just wait for that to load. Okay, so once this has opened up, go ahead and click on SSH and SFTP. So over here, that's where you will, you will grab all your details. So I'll go ahead and copy these details onto my FileZilla. So that's the host, host. And the port is 22, so I'll just remember that. And SFTP username. Go ahead and grab that. And the port is 22. And the password, I've already put in the password here just because for security reasons. But when you go and click on toggle password, the password should show up. Okay. So once you've got all those details, go ahead and click on quick connect. So as you can see, there's a status here. So it's connecting and bringing up your website okay so this is it the remote site is on the right hand panel here okay so what you've got on the left hand panel is your computer so what I've prepared earlier so um, just save it to wherever you want to save it to um, a documents folder or desktop so just for um, this instance I'll just put it into my desktop and there's a folder that I've called website backup and I normally just date it with today's date okay so you just open that up and that's just blank here and all you need to do is on the right hand corner here, go ahead and press Command A on your Mac or Control A just to select everything on your Windows and go ahead and move it over onto the left hand panel. Okay, and that's it. So basically I'll just wait for this to load and show you what's happening. So as you can see, the transfer is happening here. So you can see on the left hand side, all the files are moving from the right hand side and you can see the status down here at the bottom. It will tell you 100% and it will also tell you the status as well. So if there's any errors, um, sometimes you will get pop-up alerts asking you whether you want to replace a file, if there's a duplicate file name, etc. Um, and then once that's done, you can go ahead and just find your website that's on the desktop. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe um, if you like my videos and, and, and leave a comment and like. Thanks guys. See ya.